I'm going to show you some electrical issues that I ran into while working in the train room. So let's go. Hi, I'm Tom Govichak and this is Tom's Trains and Things. This channel was created to help other modelers who are in need of guidance in pursuing their dream of building a model railroad. And electrical problems, you're going to run into them every once in a while. And if you don't know anything about electrical, find a qualified electrician or somebody who has worked on electrical issues before. Don't try to do it yourself if you are not comfortable with it. I started out as an electrician long time ago on the railroad and later on most of the stuff that I work was was industrial but I've done residential stuff in my own house and in some friends houses also. So let me show you what I ran into. And don't forget if you haven't done so already go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And while you're at it, ding that ding bell it, ding it, ding it. or wherever it is so you can be notified and do all those other things that you need to do to be notified whenever I have a new video coming out and go ahead and check out my playlist. Go to my main page and click on the playlist tab and you can see all the playlists I have there of all the videos that I have. So go check that out. If you plan on doing any kind of electrical work, I suggest you get one of these, a circuit tester. Now this is an older one. It went kaput on me. I've had it for many, many years. I've cleaned it up, changed the batteries on it several times, and it just died on me this last move. Uh, they wanted, I think, about $26 for a new one just like this. I got the commercial electric one from Home Depot for $10. It does the same thing, and it even has a useless light on the end of it. But this is good for testing your circuits. Make sure when you turn it on, you test the live circuit first, and you'll hear that right there. I got that up against the cord on my light. There's an extension cord with nothing on it. You don't hear anything. That's the idea. When there's no power on the line, you won't hear anything. If there's power anywhere, and you can tell that there is power on it. This is a lifesaver. This will tell you when there's power on a circuit and test which breaker goes to which circuit. This person, whoever did the wiring in here, did a very bad job of it shoddy electrical work didn't know what the hell he was doing and so I have to go back and make sure on every one of these junction boxes that the splices in there are okay because the splices that I've seen he done where he just wrapped wire around and put tape over top of it and that's a big no-no on the one circuit that I was working on has the receptacles on that side going up side to a floodlight okay on that conduit and it goes on this side too so he must have double tapped the circuit breaker <laughs> in the breaker box for that one circuit they put half of that circuit that I was telling you about on a switch right here I always wondered what this switch was here for and I finally found out when I opened up the panel and boy did I see a mess inside the panel but they have half of the circuit going on that switch that goes on this side that went up there there was a conduit up there and I replaced it I put Romex up there up until the box there's a 4x4 four four box right about there because I put a receptacle down here Okay, there's still conduit up there with UF wire in it that goes to a receptacle outside. I'll work on that one later. But that is on the same circuit as this right here, all these receptacles, and that's where I have my lights plugged into. You never know what's going on until you open up the panel and find out. But remember, like I said, if you're not familiar with electrical work, 
don't do it yourself find somebody that knows what they're doing or get a electrician to do it for you apparently this owner confused Romex right here with UF wire right here they, they look the same <laughs> but there's a big difference Romex is a lot easier to strip because it's just one jacket over top of the three conductors UF wire on the other hand it <laughs> the insulation this outer jacket is molded around all three wires each wire has its own insulation and you can see right here it is a bear to strip this is for underground UF underground feeder it's for direct burial this is usually in the walls from in your house and if you can see here's some older stuff right here that's all Romex right there NM typically if you're gonna run it through conduit you're gonna use this THHN THWN it's a lot easier to run through I mean it's a single conductor you get them in all different sorts of colors easy as that makes life a lot easier I'm gonna show you why if you shouldn't be trusting what other people do in their wiring now I took a took apart this box right over here and this is how the thing looks let me see if I could get this up there like that okay so you can see I got this circuit on this circuits here live now they just ran a Romex boom boom no splices or anything else this this is the feed over here on this side and this goes to the two receptacles on the other side of this wall okay this is the receptacles that go outside that way goes outside and then this conduit over here goes outside and I'm going to tap into this one right here but here's how they spliced it very little room no wire nuts now I got the tape halfway off here but uh, this is the second wrap of the tape but uh, I know what I'm going to uncover I'm just going to uncover uh, the uh, the wires just twisted together now and you can see it already yeah that's not live <laughs> yeah I tested it and I'm gonna show you what I tested it with but I'm trying to do this with one hand but do not do this with the power on and please <laughs> if all they did okay they ran it there they stripped it they didn't even cut it and they just wrapped the other wire around it like that that is not good that is not good at all so I'm gonna to have to redo this I'm gonna cut this off right here okay because I'm going to uh, move this back out of the way because I have to tap into uh, this one anyway further down the line so I'm gonna keep that disconnected now but I'm going to I don't know what to do about this I'm gonna see I don't, I don't know if I have any slack in this but the, this is Romex and they barely have enough wire to work with I mean usually you keep yourself at least at least six inches to work with and then fold it over this person didn't do that and that makes it difficult for somebody else to come by and work on it and especially with crap that looks like this hello there crap that looks like that right there that is a no-no I mean why why go through the trouble of putting it in uh, C, you know PVC electrical PVC 
and still use Romex. Why didn't they just use the uh, 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 single conductors, you know, black and white and the ground? I'm ready to splice my wires in there. These are the feeder wires that I got the uh, wire nuts on right now. They're still hot. I need to turn that off. This is the existing wire from going that way. These two over here, one goes down to the receptacle that I installed here. And the other one goes down to the 4x4 box way down at the end or way down down there that uh, I drop down to a receptacle in the center of the train room. Now that is going to extend out later to the receptacles outside. I have it disconnected right now. But you can see how I have the wiring here. There's plenty to work with. And this is how it should be when you're wiring things up and then you tuck everything down in there. I had to put pigtails on everything because that's what they had there. Very, very short and I'll compare it with <laughs> what you saw before. I'm getting ready to splice all this in. I put the extender on here to give me some extra room. I could not find a knockout plug anywhere. A half inch knockout plug anywhere. I mean, I used to have a bunch of them, and, you know, in probably in the years that I've been throwing things out, I probably threw them out, but uh, eventually I'll have to find a plug to put in this hole right here. Coming up in June, we got more videos, and as, as you can see right here in the train room, I cleaned it up some, and I got some room right there. There's Debbie's uh, desk that we're going to make her craft table out of. Well, that's gonna be her craft table, so I got it over there where I could work on it, but I have a lot of room now because I put all my junk. Now, don't laugh. I got it stacked up back in here. Now, that is not where it's gonna stay, but for right now, so I could work on Debbie's table before she comes home, that's what it's gonna look like. So we're gonna have some 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 more progress. I might even be able to do something from for the layout and go and do a video on back to basics. So look for that sometime in June. So until the next time, we'll see ya. Let me show you what I ran into. But before that. You know, before that, we gotta sell some stuff. Don't forget, if you haven't done so already, and you like this stuff. And don't forget, if you... Blah, 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 blah.